proceeding with the factors that determine the size of uh, national income as uh, the next factor is terms of trade a country with a favorable terms of trade it means that it uh, experience uh, the large size of national income as uh, the favorable terms of trade it means the exchange between the uh, export and import of goods of goods and services uh, it means that uh, it is well so there is no loss in the exchange uh, uh, between the import and the export of different goods and services so a country with unfavorable terms of trade it means that uh, a country is getting low income from uh, making exchange of goods and the services um, from uh, the domestic country to the abroad countries so these terms of trade determine now uh, the size of national income as uh, a good uh, of available terms of trade or balanced uh, terms of trade it means even the national income will be high rather than in, uh, to a country where has got an available terms of trade uh, also another factor is gift from abroad so uh, a country can be given a, a gift in different forms especially uh, financial uh, financial support in a different economic activities social activities even other activities uh, especially those activities which can be uh, involved or that contribute to the generation or production of different goods and services uh, that can increase now the gross domestic production uh, of different goods and services in a country so a country with a large number of gift uh, from abroad it means that uh, this will contribute now to the rise of the national income uh, rather than as a country that has got little or no at all uh, the gifts from abroad uh, this is uh, especially to the countries uh, which are still developing uh, a good example most of the african countries especially in east africa uh, we as tanzanians uh, the, even our neighboring countries like burundi and rwanda so uh, there are different uh, forms or types of gifts which our country receives from abroad so this now contributed to the uh, improvement or increase in the national income so uh, the countries now that receive retro or no uh, gifts from abroad it means that even in their national income uh, will be low uh, also another factor that determines the size of national income uh, is level of economic cooperation level of economic cooperation we know that uh, there are different uh, economic uh, regional integrations uh, but uh, there are some of the countries that uh, are not engaging more in this uh, economic cooperations as we know that uh, when a country is uh, involving with uh, other countries in uh, their economic activities uh, especially exchange of different goods and services by exporting and importing the goods from abroad and while uh, a country now export uh, the goods which are domestically produced to the other countries so that to meet the market so this can lead now to the increase in the size of the uh, income of a nation as uh, how the, the the country can produce more goods that will be used now uh, within a country but also uh, some of them will be sold outside the country so uh, where you can find that there is a, a high price uh, to the goods and services which are produced so this will lead to the increase in the income of a country but a country with a low 
level of economic uh, cooperation with the other countries. It means that even uh, the national income of such country will be low as the law will be with uh, low level of transactions which are made by the country itself but even in international trade it means that there is a low level of uh, transactions which are made by a country in order to increase uh, the national income so now here now the level of economic cooperation uh, of a country now determines the size of the national income of a particular country uh, in two ways First, uh, when this level of economic cooperation is high, it means this will lead to the high accumulation of national income. But when the level of economic cooperation of a country uh, is low, it means that uh, there is low level of uh, accumulation of the national income as it decreases now uh, the base for income generation in a country but also uh, the income from abroad the country so uh, this leads to a country to earn more foreign income uh, where uh, the country now is engaging more in a different economic cooperation uh, so uh, let us shift to another part uh, that is uh, we are going to look about the problems encountered when measuring the national income. So these are like uh, uh, the obstacles uh, or limitations or the uh, things now which make uh, the, the, the process of enumerating the national income to be difficult or the, uh, the measurement uh, process of national income uh, to be made but not accurate. So what are the things now or uh, the problems that leads to um, the failure now of making uh, measurement of national income at accurate? So uh, first point we have unreliable or incom incomplete information. So uh, this becomes due to the fact that in a country during enumeration of uh, national income, it means that uh, many uh, all, all economic activities now which are being conducted in a country, they must be registered uh, so that uh, the information uh, seekers uh, will be there in order to make documents to, to include all economic activities which are being uh, conducted within a country. Uh, even uh, the um, uh, goods and services which are produced uh, into the market or even for consumption uh, must be indicated. So there are some people now who engage in different economic activities now. Uh, who does not give uh, clear information about uh, their uh, production maybe in different uh, uh, sectors. So uh, they make this action so that to, to escape maybe from being taxed by the government. So uh, the producers now can provide information which is not true in order to escape from paying high tax uh, on their uh, different business or economic activities. So this uh, becomes a problem in measuring uh, this national income. So uh, according to this now, uh, a country with a large number of people now uh, who have got a tendency uh, of not talking the truth or uh, with uh, the behavior of escaping from paying tax, it means that uh, the enumeration of the national income will be difficult than uh, to a country where uh, the people now uh, have got uh, well uh, understanding about the importance of uh, measuring national income where they will be uh, clear. So they will give the information that will be uh, fit. So now the, uh, the process of measuring national income will be well conducted. But also another problem we have double counting problems. So this double counting problems happens when uh, different goods and services have been included now in the process of enumerating the national income twice. 
So uh, you may find the same commodity has been uh, counted uh, twice uh, when they try to, to calculate this national uh, income. Uh, this uh, occurs to uh, the commodities or services which are uh,